Hurricane watch in effect. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. A hurricane watch is in effect for the following counties in New Jersey, Monmouth, Middlesex, Essex, Hudson, and Union. In New York, Westchester, Nassau, Suffolk, Kings, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, and Richmond. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible in the next 48 hours. Hurricane Earl may impact the New York City area in the next 60 hours. Hurricane force winds are possible between Tuesday night into Wednesday afternoon. Storm surge may be 5 to 8 feet near the coast. All sailors are advised to return to port by Monday night to secure your vessels. Hurricane Earl is a Category 3 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. With gusts of up to 130 miles per hour. Tune in to media outlets for more information. Hurricane watch in effect. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. A hurricane watch is in effect for the following counties in Virginia, Isle of Wight, Surrey, Prince George, York, George, Charles City, New Kent, Suffolk, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Norton, Hampton, and Newport News. In North Carolina, Cardiac, Camden, Pasquotank, Perquimans, Bertie, Dare, Tyrell, and Washington. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible in the next 48 hours. Hurricane Fiona may impact this area in the next 48 hours. Hurricane force winds are possible between Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday morning. Storm surge may be 20 to 15 feet near the coast. All sailors are advised to return to port by Monday night to secure your vessels. Hurricane Fiona is a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 135 miles per hour. With gusts of up to 155 miles per hour. Tune in to media outlets for more information. The extremely dangerous and life-threatening Hurricane Gaston bearing down on the Maryland, Delaware, and South Jersey coast. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. A hurricane warning has been issued for the following counties, in Maryland, Worcester, in Delaware, Sussex, Kent, and Newcastle, in New Jersey, Cumberland, Salem, Cape May, Atlantic, and Ocean. Hurricane Fiona has made a northerly turn and has gotten very close to Hurricane Earl. It is expected that these two storms will start circling around each other in the next three hours. They will circle each other and get gradually closer until the point when they have combined into one super powerful hurricane. This hurricane will then slam into the coastlines of the states mentioned above in the next 36 hours. It is unknown at this time how strong and where this hurricane will actually be but the impact is expected to be catastrophic. And we are advising everyone within 10 miles of the coast in these areas to evacuate. Now's the time to prepare your home and business for the storm. Board up windows and doors and gather supplies such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a battery-powered or hand-crank radio with extra batteries, and a flashlight to last you at least three days if you choose to ride out the storm in your current area. Manufactured homes will suffer severe damage to near total destruction. Mobile homes will be completely destroyed. Expect total power failure with power outages lasting weeks after the storm. Many trees will be uprooted or snapped blocking many roads. Rivers and lakes will overflow, causing massive flooding to spread miles inland, destroying many small structures and leaving many large structures with severe damage. Storm surges may destroy roads and bridges near the beach. 
drinking water and sewer systems may be interrupted, and floodwaters may be contaminated. Areas near the beach will be uninhabitable or inaccessible after the storm. Widespread tornadoes are expected with this storm, with some long-lived and long-tracked. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. Hurricanes Earl and Fiona have indeed combined into a massively powerful hurricane. Hurricane Gaston is a Category 5 hurricane. The winds of this hurricane in the eyewall are 160 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 180 miles per hour. Hurricane hunters have reported that the minimal pressure of this hurricane is 919 millibirds. Hurricane winds extend 150 miles from the center with tropical storm force winds extending 300 miles from the center. The evacuation radius has been extended to 15 miles from the shoreline, and civil authorities are handing out sandbags in certain areas to help protect your home from flooding and or storm surge. Stay tuned to further information on this deadly situation. Storm surges of 35 to 40 feet are expected, seawalls and levees will break, and barrier islands will be wiped off the map possibly to never reappear again. Intense winds will destroy a vast majority of houses and condominiums. Some taller buildings, like apartment complexes and skyscrapers, will sway violently until the point in which they have collapsed. Anyone caught outside during the height of the storm will face certain death. Do not wait to evacuate, or it will be too late, and you risk death. An administrative message from the state of Maryland to people in the area impacted by Hurricane Gaston. The entire Delmarva Peninsula has been devastated. Even worse, the coastal city of Ocean City has been hit so hard that the destruction there can only be described as apocalyptic. The saw will broke, and many of the area's most beloved attractions have been destroyed or are in the ocean. An F4 tornado brought similar destruction to the cities of Whaleyville, Maryland and Selbyville, Delaware. Storm Surge in fact, has gone over barrier islands and, combined with massive rainfall, is causing unprecedented amounts of flooding in the Delmarva Peninsula. 160 mile per hour winds combined with this flooding have destroyed vast majority houses and condominiums in the area, even toppling a few skyscrapers. Many barrier and outlying islands have been wiped off the map, never to reappear. The preliminary death toll is 5,417, with many more injured. This storm has crippled us. But we must not give up hope. We must unite as one people under God. You can help by donating money to the areas impacted by this disaster. This ends my message. Thank you, and try to have a good day.